Hey guys, Brendonio Productions here. In this quick Python tutorial, I wanted to discuss modules and how to import them. So in many of the Python tutorials, I've been making references to Python's standard library. All right, and Python's standard library is great. Uh, actually, it's often paraded around the internet that Python has a very strong standard library. And all you have to do to do anything is call a standard library function. However, a lot of the very useful standard library utilities are hidden away inside modules. You won't be able to find them unless you actually import these modules into your project. So what is importing? Well, by default, Python creates modules that are small when you're creating a Python program, right? It only contains a few standard functions like print uh, and some other ones. <laughs> There's a whole list of them. I'll provide the list in the description of this video. Uh, and it keeps your module small. However, if you want to use other functions, you can tell Python that you want to actually import these modules into your project. And then yes, your project will turn out to be a little bigger in file space, uh, but you'll have some functions that you can use. So how do you import these modules into your project? Well, let's go ahead and use an example module. So I'm going to use sys, which is a nice module to get information about your system, uh, Python system, and it's basically the Python system library. So let's go ahead and import it into our projects. So I'm just going to use the word import sys. And there it is, it's imported. So sys is a module and modules are basically just a list of key value pairs. And usually the keys are strings and the pairs are, or the, sorry, the values are functions or maybe they're constants, so you know, strings or integers. So for sys, we can actually go ahead and see what's defined inside of it by using the dir uh, function. So if we type dir sys, we'll get a list of everything that sys actually gives us, right? So we've got sys.api version, sys.argv, sys.version, sys.version info. So we can go ahead and type sys.version info, version info, right? And you'll see that we are actually running Python 3.6.3 as uh, the final release. Great. Uh, what other things can we do? Oh, it looks like there's also sys.argv, right? Uh, when you're actually calling a Python module, sys.argv works just like C's argv parameter, right? It's the arguments that were specified to your Python script on the command line. Of much more interest, there's sys.standardout and sys.standardair. And sys.standardout, it's a text IO wrapper, right? And I just happen to know uh, that sys.standardout has a function called write. So, Print is very nice, right? You can print to standard out. However, two problems. One, it puts a new line at the end of everything you print. And two, it only prints to standard out. So if you'd like to print to standard error, you can type sys.standardair.write hello. And as you can see, it doesn't put a new line at the end. So you have to manually insert a new line. And it also gives you a return code of how many characters were printed to the screen. So this is the basics of modules and module discovery, right? You can import it, you can use dir uh, to get the actual contents of the module, and you're allowed to uh, use the module once you import it. So this is, this is usually what people do. However, there's also some import statement semantics that you might want to learn. So if you say import sys, right, and Perhaps sys is already a widely used variable in your program, or you don't like the name sys, it doesn't make any sense to you. You can use the as keyword to actually rename this module. So import sys as Python system utils. So now if we type Python system utils, whose idea was this? But dot version, you can see it's the same thing that we get with sys.version. Right, except we actually renamed the sys module. Alternatively, we can actually extract things directly from the sys module by using the from keyword. So from sys import version, 
Now, every time we type in version, right, we'll get that string. You can also use commas in this. So from sys import version, version info, and now version info is imported. You can also rename these things from sys import uh, version as Python version, Python version. And you can do some other things like from sys import parenthesis version as Python version comma, version info as Python, version info, right? So now you can go ahead and say Python version info and Python version. And it immediately uh, redirects to sys.version info here, or Python, Python version immediately redirects to sys.version. So those are the basics of how to use modules and how to import them into your project. This is very useful if trying to use utilities. Many utilities are defined in here. Some common ones, we've got import OS. OS is useful for checking if a file exists. Uh, oh, really? Uh, checking if a path exists, rather. Uh, you can also call os.path.join to join certain components of a path together, uh, right? So there's OS, there's collections uh, that has some sort of things like order dictionary, a deck, there's uh, func tools, text wrap is common. It allows you to dedent text bodies. Anyway, there's a bunch of standard modules that you can import into your project and use. Further, if you actually include a third-party module in your project using something like pip, uh, you can actually import it directly. And even further, you can actually import your own modules into a project. So, and I'm going to actually cover that in the next tutorial. So that basically helps organize your project, right? You can do things like from utils import, right? If you have a utils.py file. So I'll cover how to do that in the next tutorial. But for now, this is the basics of importing modules into your program, exploring them using dir, and calling the functions and constants inside of them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Have a good one.